This is the third video in a series about candlestick charts. If you haven't seen the first two videos yet, you'll definitely want to take a look at those before watching this one. In this video, you'll learn how candlesticks can be used to help pinpoint market reversal points by understanding market sentiment. Determining reversal points is the golden goose of trading, and understanding candlestick patterns can help in your decision making when it comes to getting into or out of a trade for maximum profitability. The first type of candle we're going to talk about is regarded by many as the most significant, the doji, spelled D-O-J-I. There are different types of doji candles, and I'll be showing you what I feel are the most, most important ones to recognize. The first doji we're going to look at is the doji star. The opening and closing prices are near the bottom of the candle, and the shadow shoots up like a star. When you find the doji star at the top of an uptrend, it signals a reversal of the trend without needing any further confirmation. Look to exit a trade when you see a doji at the top of an uptrend, especially when the prices begin to range. This is a doji located at the bottom of a downtrend. When you see a doji at the bottom of a downtrend, you need to see a good bullish candle following the doji to confirm the doji. This next do doji is a gravestone doji. With the gravestone doji, the open and close are both at the lowest point of the candle. This type of doji gives more reliable signals at the bottom of a downtrend than it does at the top of an uptrend. This is a gravestone doji at the top of an uptrend. And here is a gravestone doji at the bottom of a downtrend. Remember that when a doji is seen at the bottom of a downtrend, it needs a strong bullish candle following it to confirm the signal. This is a doji dragonfly. With a doji dragonfly, the opening and closing prices are both at the top of the candle. It's the opposite of the gravestone doji, which has the opening and closing prices at the bottom of a candle. An extensively long shadow on a doji dragonfly at the bottom of a downtrend is very bullish. And once again, at the bottom of a downtrend, the following candle needs to be a strong bullish candle con to confirm the doji. In this case, there is not a strong bullish candle following it, so it does not confirm this doji. Here is another drag uh, doji dragonfly, and this one is located at the top of an uptrend. As you notice, the following candles are bearish candles which are confirming the doji signal. There are a few other important things that you need to know about doji candles. The first and most important is that reversal candle patterns appear only at the top or bottom of trends. Here is a doji that is not at the end of a trend. It is not at the top of an uptrend and it is not at the bottom of a downtrend. If a doji is not at the top of an uptrend or the bottom of a downtrend, ignore it. Also, if you see many dojis on a chart, then the appearance of a new doji will not carry that much weight. It will not be as important as if it's the only doji. In this case, we see a doji here, here, and again here, and here, and here. And since there are so many dojis, one doji, one more doji, will not be very significant. Another thing about dojis is that they have more relevance at the top of a chart if they follow a long blue candle. In this case, long blue candle followed by a doji at the top of a trend is a very bearish signal. The same is true in reverse at the bottom of a downtrend. Dojis have more relevance at the bottom of a downtrend if they follow a long red candle. In this case, there's a long bearish candle followed by a doji followed and confirmed by a bullish candle, a strong bullish candle. In this case, this doji is very significant. Here's another thing to be aware of concerning dojis. The trend was originally down, and now the trend has reversed upward. After the trend has reversed upward, you see a doji right here, 
formed during the beginning of the new uptrend. A doji near the start of a new uptrend indicates that the last of the sellers are getting out. The sellers are trying to bring the price down, but they can't maintain it. In this case, with the following blue candle, bullish candle, confirming the doji, this doji is a very, uh, has a very high probability that it will be the bottom of the trend and that the trend will now resume upward. Well, there you have it. Dojis are important candles for pre predicting market reversal points. But before finishing in this video, I must mention one more important item. Never take a trade based only on a candlestick pattern. To get into high probability trades, you must have other signals or indicators confirming the candle patterns. Do not enter a trade based only on candle patterns with no other confirmation signals.